legislators say there are now big concerns over the validity of the state's signature gathering process for ballot initiatives. New at 9, Fox 16's David Gowen shows us hearings are underway at the Capitol to find out what can be done to stop it. When Sheffield Nelson turned in boxes of signatures last month, he figured he was well on his way to getting his severance tax proposal on the ballot. But the Secretary of State's office threw out more than 70 percent of the signatures, in some cases obvious forgeries. Senator Jason Raper today discussing a proposal to deal with fraudulent petition signatures. He suggests increasing criminal penalties for fraud, requiring canvassers to register with the Secretary of State's office, or requiring licensing for canvassing. We're going to have to do something because the process is now at a point which we don't have faith really that things are going as they should. He says the severance tax proposal and casino measures concern him most. Nancy Todd, pushing her Poker Palace initiative for casinos in Arkansas, addressed the fraud issue Wednesday after turning in an additional 120,000 signatures. We are cooperating fully, absolutely. Anybody who commits voter fraud ought to serve time in, in jail. And I've called, there's only two that I know that are looking at it, and I've um, touched base with both of them and given them everything that I had on that. Do we ban paid signature gathers? I don't know that. But I know that what's happening is that people are coming in here without respect for the process and they're getting people to sign and sometimes signing themselves just so they get paid for that signature. And the issue of potential ballot signature fraud is something they said they'll talk about throughout the fall, even past the general election and into next year's regular session. At the state capitol, David Goins, Fox 16 News.